everybody. I have a video here for you tonight. Now, I'm looking for some stories for an ancient history news video that I'll probably do tomorrow. Got a few videos planned for the weekend. But I talked about Rio Tinto, this mining company in Australia, and them destroying a 46,000-year-old Aboriginal cave site. I believe that was last spring, but this just popped up about a half hour ago, so I thought I'd talk about it. It says, Rio Tinto keeps production guidance under new heritage approach but impact a cave blast fallout unknown. And here's the site right here. And they have a little video attached. I'm going to play just a little bit from this video here, but anybody that cares about ancient sites should be interested in this video. And this cave site here that goes back at least 45,000 years or so. All sites are important to us. Every site we find, we know our people have been walking this land for many years. And we're back here in the same area where they've been walking walking in their footsteps. This place up here, people have been living here for the last 43,000 years. We excavated the floor to 1.7 meters and found thousands of stone artifacts, animal bone fragments and teeth, echidna spines, emu eggshells, seeds, grasses and animal droppings and there were multiple fireplaces. The thing that makes this site really unique is the preservation. Organics like grasses and bones don't usually survive, but here we found them all the way to the bottom of the pit. Tens of thousands of years old. You feel that difference when you're coming through because of the disturbance. Nowadays with the introduction of mining, getting out on country to pass on our knowledge to the young people is a lot harder. The younger people, when they do come out, will they learn of the, the elders that are on the, um, on the survey? That's where the young people miss out, you know, because you can't get out and show them that. Yeah. Especially around here, a lot of things, you know, in this country here. Five to ten years, you'll be all gone, finished. Yep. Mm -hmm. You'll never get any access out here. Back in the 80s, you can get around in places. Yes, yes. It was just about... You can go right through, you know, like there. Now you finish, you can't even get through. Balled back down to the pastoralists and the mining side of it. They took all the country on the people. Yeah, you got to get that many really? permits to get back into your own country. <laughs> that's right. Because most of our country are taken up by mining. And now our kids going to miss it all because of the mining, what's happening in the back. It's like when we done that one day, we was all sorry we'd come here, you know, showing the people that. Like doing arc work and everything today is like exposing the country for them to open it up, blow it up, giving them access. Rio Tinto is planning to expand their mine and this place will be lost. We Guruma people are fighting for our country to protect and pass down what we can. We are sad that we weren't able to stop this mining from going ahead. But we hope this film will be there for the young Gurama people so they can see and understand why this place was and is important for us and is a part of who they are. I will leave this link below if you want to watch this 14 minute plus documentary on this site. I talked about this, I believe it was last spring, but it's really unfortunate that this site was lost. The mining company has kind of paid a price, some serious backlash. But I've talked about losing ancient sites all around the world, ancient America, other places. Well, Australia, this is just one story here coming from a whole series home from around the world. I believe this was recorded a few years ago. But if you destroy ancient sites around the world, I just might talk about it. I don't give a shit who you are. This story just came out about a half hour ago. It says Rio Tinto has stuck to its full year production guidance despite falls in quarterly output and says the impacts from its change approach to indigenous heritage in the wake of the Wukong Gorge debacle remain unknown. And I'm probably not pronouncing that right. Here it says John Sebastian Jocks was the most senior of three Rio Tinto executives to lose their job over the controversy. It has been reported that it is understood the parties are in discussions about reparation, but this has not been confirmed by the company, which initially only said it was sorry for causing distress to the PKK people, then upped its contrite statements after outrage about the blast grew, even running an ad on Google saying it deeply regret, regretted the events. So, 
I don't know, you can take that for what it's worth. It says Rio Tinto will front a parliamentary inquiry again on Friday, days after the PKKP people spoke of their distress at the destruction of ancient rock shelters. The company said in the quarterly report that it wrote a letter to the group on Tuesday detailing that we will review all heritage disturbance in consultation with them and shared our intention to modernize our agreement, which includes modifying clauses to ensure respect, transpar transparency, and mutual benefit. And that's all well and good, but it's just all a matter of your actions. Do you really give a crap about ancient sites, or are you just trying to smooth over a difficult situation here? It says the miner said future potential operational and mine development impacts from the reform will remove the section of the bill that allows indigenous cultural artifacts to be disturbed or destroyed and changes to the company's own heritage approach remain unknown. So if I'm reading this right, it says it will remove the section of the bill that allows for indigenous cultural artifacts to be disturbed or destroyed. What? Well, this is just big business here. Ancient sites. Do people give a rip? Well, I'm making this video just in case some people do. I'll leave this link below too. This is from about three or four days ago here. Australian Aboriginal leaders testified mining firms gag clause silencing opposition to destruction of ancient sites. It says Rio Tinto must acknowledge and seek to correct the unequal bargaining positions that have always resulted in a disadvantage for traditional owners. And here's one of their mine sites here. It says leaders of an Aboriginal group fighting to save a 46,000 year old sacred rock shelter told an Australian federal inquiry Monday that lawyers for the Rio Tinto Mining Company warned them they cannot speak publicly about the issue due to a gag clause in their agreement with the company. So the Aboriginal leaders weren't even allowed to speak on this issue due to a gag clause while Rio Tinto you can gag. Maybe I should wrap this up before I say something inappropriate, but I will leave this link below. It has tweets here about these inquiries. People in Australia should be aware of this stuff if they aren't already. I just thought this is an interesting thing to talk about. Ancient sites still being destroyed in this, this time, in this day and age. Well, make a lot of videos on the subject. Hope you thought this was cool and you all have a very nice day.